All right, tonight I'm going to be working on a custom order for Kayla. She wanted this um, nutcracker wreath for her mom for Christmas. So I made a nutcracker. This guy is on one of those cookie tins that you get from Sam's Club. I have held on to these and held on to these because I knew one day there was something I was going to find that I could use them for. So I actually printed the um, design and yep, I did. Yep. So I printed the design and then I stitched it closed and made like a, a tube and slid it over this can. I made the hat. <laughs> it's kind of, I stuffed it. I put some um, blue and gold trim on it. Hi, Nanny Dot. Thank you, Bobby. <laughs> I thought it turned out pretty good, too. There's going to be a lot of different characters that I'm going to make. Um, using this method, let me plug in my glue gun. So, they will be available in my Etsy shop. If you have the can and you just want the sleeve, I will be selling them that way too. Hi, Esther. Welcome. Esther, what do you think of my nutcracker? He's made out of a tin can. I made the sleeve and the hat. I put some holes in the back and put some tinsel tie back there so I have an easy wreath attachment. He even put a little bit of gold on his buttons. Um, I have two other nutcrackers in the um, design stage right now. Thank you. Hi, Dawn. So we're going to, I'm going to sell them with or without the can. Um, I'm waiting for the other two to be finished and then we'll be able to figure out, you know, what everybody's looking for. All right. So Kayla wanted a pine wreath base for her mom. Her mom loves nutcrackers. These are her favorite. Hi, Susan. Welcome from the UK. All right. So this is a 16 inch um, pine wreath base. I cut my um, 10 inch mesh at 10 inches and I'm gonna have 16, 10 on the uh, outside and six on the inside. I'm gonna roll them. This, is, this really matched his, his um, this really isn't red, it's more like a burgundy almost. So that's why I chose that one. Thank you, I appreciate you sprinkling for me because Facebook doesn't allow me to do it anymore. So, all right, so I'm gonna use my Bodabra and I'm gonna roll these and just put two in each section, okay? Move that out of the way. Just going to use that to hold it. Okay. So again, I'm going to do like 10 on the outside. I'm just going to make this like a regular wreath base that we use. to have my grandchildren for dinner last night. My son stopped by because we all ate separately on Thanksgiving. So, so we're going 10 on the outside and six on the inside. What uh, 
other characters might you be interested in if I made more sleeves like this? Because I can print anything. I know, right? It was so different because both of them are sitting up in a high chair now. So they were able to sit close to the table. Both are eating food now, baby food. So what, what fun, what an experience. to evenly space them so I'm trying to keep an eye on how many I have in here just making sure I'm not missing anybody's comments Like the way this color looks against the green. Yes, right? They do. And these little guys, they're they're like four months apart, but they're both <laughs> the same size clothing now. Hi, Diane. How are you? We are making a nutcracker wreath. One, two, three, four. Hi, Missy. Check it out, Miss. My newest creation. He's out of a cookie tin. I printed off the sleeve and we covered them with the sleeve and I made the hat. Hope you're feeling better, Missy. I know, right? We're gonna have more of him or more characters. This is just the first one. I have uh, two more that we're making that are in the design process right now. You have no idea how long I've held on to those cookie tin, tins, tins. <laughs> They're the perfect size. You know you, you're gonna eventually find a craft to do with them. And I have held on to them. I had to paint it. Oh, good. I'm glad you're feeling much better. I had to paint the underneath um, because you could see through the white on the fabric. So let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Really? Yeah, all right. It's still sore, but tomorrow I get the stitches removed. Yay! <laughs> I cannot wait. <laughs> it's the, I, Thanksgiving was it, or the day day before it was the first day I was in jeans because I've been unable to wear so 
I'm just going to push these out this way some. And I think I'm either going to leave this area for him or for the bow. Now I already went ahead and made the bow. And I'm going to curl these up. But there's the bow. I had surgery, Esther. Um, they removed a couple veins from my leg. So I was quite sore, quite ouchy. There's 13 incisions down the leg, so yikes. No, there's only a little bit, but the, um, the wound has healed, which was the whole reason behind the surgery. So thank you. So yeah, I'm excited. Now I just want to get the stitches out. <laughs> Pronto. And they're calling for snow tomorrow, so I'm hoping it doesn't snow. Susan, I just kind of strictly, um, I use the bow dabber when I make my bows. I start out with five loops. Usually the last actually would be the first layer is a little bit longer and then each time I go a little bit shorter. There's a lot of videos on my uh, Facebook page that you can go in and watch on how to do bows. There are also um, on my YouTube channel a lot of easy bow um, designs. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Oh no. So it's coming our way then. Ugh. Well, if it snows too bad, they'll cancel school tomorrow and then I can talk my husband into driving me. <laughs> I understand, Kayla. This wreath is for Kayla's mom. So. She's excited. Um, it was this morning and then it warmed up a little, but I think Esther, it's going to get a little colder tonight. So, and Kayla wanted a pine wreath base. Um, so. I shot a few pictures for her today to kind of get her input, see if that's what she wants. Ooh, that's cold. I'm just kind of stacking them on top of each other and twisting them in here. Like I said, I have 10 on the outside, 6 on the inside. And then we're going to do some decorating. And I sent Kayla some pictures, but since then I changed the design. So, she will be surprised. Where are we at here? Over here. All right. So, when I put this on, I think I may go at the top and put him here on the side, and then we'll add our tails. I do have tails. I want to put in. I have some balls we're going to put in. Oh, here are my two newest signs. Here's this one. And this one, I took a shot over the weekend of the wreath that Bobby wanted. And this is the sign that I made to go with that wreath. See, it has the gunny sack 
um, green sack stripes on the side just very simple thank you they will be hopefully in my Etsy shop tomorrow all right these are my tails I cut them at 12 inches so let's put those in we'll just I love this ho 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 standing on his head guy let's just put those up there All right, so everywhere I put two mesh, we're going to put one of these. And I'm going to alternate. I'm so glad to see you all on here tonight. I've been unable to share. I've been unable to see some of my friends, and y'all came. Ooh, that's cold. Esther lives in Canada. She makes the sweetest little gnomes. I'm going to have to do one of these in a gnome, Esther. I chose these colors mainly because this red is the same color as this mesh and the same color as that. So I'm happy with that, how that came out. Perfect. <laughs> Where do you live, Debbie? <laughs> We don't want to send it your way. We don't want it. <laughs> I hope we don't jinx you now. Time is it there, Susan? Oh, so you have it nice and warm, don't you, Deb? Can you see okay, Dawn? Or do you want me to zoom in a little here? Oops, sorry about that, ladies. This blue has like a gold in it. I thought the beige with the black polka dots was nice because it picked up the tan or beige in there. Oh, that's good. You're welcome, Dawn. already cut myself. No. My husband has had a day off from school bus driving, so he wrapped presents today for me. I buy, he wraps. You really have to look for your bundles. 
when you don't have a regular wreath base that you're using. Thank you, Esther. I went through several. I have to start planning more when I do my lives. And today I needed to get in the zone. So, plus I think that anesthesia is finally out of my system. So, <laughs> I'm making better choices. That anesthesia, that's a, a real stifler. As far as creativity goes. Oh, cool! Yay! A new little sign. Hi, Carol. Welcome. How's Gunner? I hope he's doing better. All right, now we'll go inside and do those. Let's see how close is this one. We're working with my homemade nutcracker. I'm glad you like it, miss. Yay. Feel like an elf this month, so any orders, I'm trying to put little surprises in there. Okay, that's that one, so this is this one. Yay. Oh, I think that would be a great one for a sign, Susan. I saw somebody had a Robin sign the other day, and here it's Cardinals. So that would be awesome to make a sign with that on it. Thanks for the idea. Yeah, here it's Cardinals. When Cardinals appear, angels are near. But I always love new ideas. Carol, can I ask what they said was wrong with him? Oh, wow. That's awesome, Missy. Did I put the wrong one in here? I did. I think I did. Excuse me. Missing one somewhere. Or maybe I cut one too many. Okay. <clears throat> now, now 
I think would be a good time to put him on. I'm just not sure if I want him up top and the bow down here. I think I want the bow down here. So let's go ahead and put the bow on. Okay. Well, I keep praying for him. And I'm using these green tinsel ties because, um, boy, they really blend in nice with this wreath base. ending up on the bottom. I don't want it on the bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to twist it the way I want it. Yes, he's a very special English Springer. Is that what he is, Carol? He is such a handsome dude. Now it's going in the right direction. I'm going to kind of curl because I cut these the longest. English setter. Thank you. It's our gunner. Not doing too good. There we go. All right. And then we're going to put him up in here. And I already attached. When I make things like this, they do come with their own attachments. So you can just attach it right to the reed base. Yes, right? He's gorgeous. It's that white, and then he has like that caramel coloring. Man, he is handsome. All right, now. Okay, so there's what we have so far. The bow and our guy. He says, what's cracking? And I can put any... Um, wording on anything that I make. So don't be afraid to ask. All right, now what I have here, I've decided against the mesh tubing. So I have some balls and what I'm going to do is three groupings that have the red, the gold, and the blue. One, two, three. One, two, actually that one. There we go. And I may add one in here. I'm not sure yet. 
I have some gold leaves I can sprinkle throughout. So. And if I want, I even have some um, pine that I can put in here too. And I can also put some beads in here if I want, if Kayla wants. But I thought it'd be kind of cute to stick these like black balls in here, the black and white, something a little different to kind of pull some of that coloring out. like those all right and with these because they are the unbreakable ones oops got some glue stuck on here i usually put a little bit around and then a little bit in the hole and then i use the wreath base as my pick holder there we go There it is. Thank you. Right? So you know I got stuck with that. <laughs> I was telling the girls how I like to bargain hunt for things. And I got stuck with that um, nutcracker that I bought. And I bought him for the wreath, and it was right after I had surgery. I found it online. I asked my son if he could go pick it up, and he said, yeah, I'll pick it up for you, Mom. And so he delivered it a couple days later, and the thing was supposed to be 12 inches. Well, <laughs> it turned out to be 20 inches, and the thing is so heavy, there's no way in heck that I can put it on a wreath. So... I got an idea for him, but I wanted this to be really original. I didn't want it looking like every other nutcracker. I wanted it to be unique, and I think I I think I got it. I think I oops. I think that Kayla is gonna like it. Got a little glue on here. Got a little glue happy. I'll get it off later. Now we'll just incorporate it. All right, let me get three pieces of pine here so I can group them all together. Which I think I got that right here. Yep. All right, we'll just reheat that glue. So there's one. And this red matches this red perfectly, matches that perfectly. And I don't know if you saw, but the mesh has um, glitter, metallic glitter going through it. There's our first grouping. Now, let's do one right here. One, two, just trying to get enough ties in here. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is put like one glitter ball in the grouping. It's a little easier on the eyes. Thank you. I could have went with white too if I wanted 
like a white glitter because this has white glitter in here too but I'm liking this combination I think each one is complementing the next oops And I like how the wreath base just makes it so much easier to put these balls in. They really stay nice when you do it like this. They're not going anywhere. Okay, then I think we'll do a batch right here. Because then we've got our triangle. And then we've got some extras in here. I think that works. All right. Thank you, Debbie. Definitely original. One of a kind. one in there. Keep the spider webs too. Now, not liking this. Not liking that. I, I do have some stars, but I'm not liking those either. So I think that we're just going to take these little pieces and kind of just put them throughout. I think that will achieve what I'm trying to do. I just give it a little bit of texture. Let me just see what some of this would look like and see if I want to go that route. I don't know, what do you think? That, or just this little bit of white with, kind of like these. What do you think, Missy? This is your wreath, so what do you think? Just a little bit of these throughout instead of the greenery. I have a bird if we wanted to put a bird in the bow. Gold bits. Susan, she's on here. <laughs> it's Kayla. She's going to be a new puppy mom this week. You like the white with the gold? I think that looks better. Just gives it a little punch of color, a little bit of texture. Let's see. I don't know, this might be too well. It's kind of really gold, but this kind of tones it down some. So maybe if I added one of those leaves to the back of it or around it, see how it kind of pulls at it a little bit?
What do you think of that? Can you see it? Because I think the gold stars would be just too much. You see how that kind of... And then I can put one piece here going down here. You like that? Okay. All right. One, two, three, four. Let me see here. I'll put this down here with this, this ball, the black and white ball. I'm just dry fitting it now to see if that's where it'll look best. Yeah, it just gives it little bits of texture, which I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Okay, this one we'll put up here. Uh, let's see. We'll put it down here, and this one we'll put back here, like that. And I don't think we want the bird in there. But what do you think about either the small gold ball in there or this crazy gourd-like thing? Or maybe not at all. What do you think? Because, see, I just think these are, I don't know. star with the black and white ball. You tell me if it's too much. One, two, three. The ball? You think this this thing? Okay. Do you think we leave the stars off or on? I had another leaf. I even had these earlier too. But I don't think I want those on there. like the stars throughout. Okay. Since the balls are glittered, we'll go with the non-glitter ones where the balls are. Put a glitter one with the because I have five. We can put a glitter one with the okay. What do you think? Yikes, what did I lose? Probably a star. Well, there's the gold leaf, maybe that's what it was. No, it's definitely a star. I'll find it. What do you think? You think it's nearly there? So what do we need? Let's 
A star it was. All right. Now I dropped one. And I hope I can find it. Oh, there it is. Right on the shelf. I think... I think I'll do away with the leaf with the, the ball and just put the star with the ball. Or let's see. No, just the white. And then I'll kind of sprinkle what I have left over around. I don't know why I didn't know. put my glasses on. <laughs> All right, a star has finished it. Yay! All right, I think we're good then. I even had this, but I'm not liking that. I think that unique board of whatever it is will look just fine. There we go. One of a kind. What do you think, Kayla? This is for your mama. Kayla will be picking this up when she picks her puppy up on Friday. Little Barkley. No, Max. Who is in the other room barking right now? And what, if anything, would you like to see if I did more characters on the cans? Any ideas? I just want to see something. Wish I had these in black. I think they would look kind of cool in there. Anybody have any questions? I know. Don't tell me that. I think I'm protesting. I think this year I will go all the way to the end with winter. I refuse to start with um, with Valentine's. Nope, not going to do it. I'm not. I promised myself not going to do it. Looks like we need some bees over here with him. He looks lonely. Put a bird on his head. <laughs> oh. I do have some of these in red. I wish I had them in blue, but I don't. All right, everyone, I'm going to sign off. Thanks for joining me. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. If you haven't subscribed to my Facebook page or my YouTube channel, please do. Understand, Kayla. It's all done, dear. They wanted, they thought the stars and the leaves kind of spruced it up. So there you go. No problem. Thank you, Susan. Well, that's a good idea, Esther. All right, you all have a great evening, and thank you for joining me. Bye. See you Wednesday at 2.